Hey Superstars, my name is Miss Sieber. This is my virtual classroom and welcome to Superstar Parking. So today I have something really awesome planned for us, but before we begin, you know the rules. Everyone take their right hand, put it inside your imaginary backpack, pull out your math thinking cap, put it on, turn it on, kiss your brain and let's get ready to learn. So today I have an awesome surprise for you guys. Ooh. But before you get to meet my surprise, we have some math that we need to learn about. So today we are learning about rounding. Hmm, what is rounding, Miss Heber? Well, let's take a look. So before I teach you about rounding, I need you guys to remember something. When you round a number, you are figuring out about how many or how much of something. Well, what does that mean, Miss Heber? We are taking a number and figuring out not an exact number but about so if I have hundred and twenty cookies and I round the number I have about a hundred cookies but there's some important rules that you need to know when it comes to rounding so my first step to rounding is finding the place value that we are going to be rounding so when we're looking at the number 48 you can see that the 4 is underlined when a number is underlined that means that is the place value that we are going to be rounding so we completed my first First step, we found the place value that we are rounding, which is my tens. Now, we need to look at the number that is next to or to the right of my number. So when I look to the right of my tens place, which is my four, I could see that the number is eight. If the number is five or more, you go next door. But if the number is four or less, we let it rest. We figured out that we are rounding my tens place. Let's look at the number to the right and figure out, are we going to round up or are we going to just let it rest? Can you guys help me? Because yeah. this is really hard. So we're looking at 48. Now, when I look to the right of my number, I see the number is eight. This is my rounding roller coaster. Let's Let's see where the number eight lands on my roller coaster. Zero, one, two, three, four, up, five, six, seven, eight. That means that I need to round up. So what number is next to four? Hmm. Well, since we are rounding up because eight is five or more, my number actually now becomes 50. Hold on, Miss Sieber. What do you mean the number is 50? Well, we went up, so four became five, and everything else after the place value that we are rounding becomes a zero, always. Do you guys think you are ready to do another practice problem before we meet my special guest? If you're ready, give me an air high five and kiss your brain. So the next number we are rounding is 325. Ooh. So my first rule, we need to find the place value that we are rounding. So the place value that we are rounding for my number is my hundreds place. Wow, that is really big. So in my hundreds place is the number three. So when I look at my tens place, because that's next to my hundreds, I could see that the number is two. Now, do you guys remember the rules? Yeah. If it's five or more, we go next door. And if it's four or less, we let it rest. So. Since it's four or less, we let it rest and three stays the same. Now, is my number just going to be three? No. Hmm. If you said no, then you are correct. Remember, everything after the place value that we are rounding becomes a zero. So when we round 325 to the nearest hundreds, it rounds to 300. All right, superstars, I think that you guys are doing an awesome job at rounding. So should we do one more practice problem before you guys meet my special guest? Yeah. All right, here is my last practice problem before we meet my awesome special guest. So first we need to find the place value that we are rounding. As you can see, we are rounding my tens place. <laughs> Hold on, Miss Sieber. What do you mean we're rounding my tens place? Well, we are rounding to the nearest tenth. So all of the numbers before my tenths place, like hundreds or thousands, stay exactly the same. The only numbers that change are the numbers that are after the place value that we are rounding. So automatically I know my two stays the same because it is before the place value we are rounding. So you guys know the rules. Let's look to the right of my number and I can see in my ones place is the number one. So one is four or less, so we let it rest. So 261 rounds to 260. All right, superstars, you guys have done an amazing job so far, 
but I actually have two surprises for you guys today. The first surprise is my special guest, and the second surprise is a really fun game that we are going to be playing. But before we play my game, let's meet my special guest. All right, superstars, I am so excited for you guys to meet my special guest today. So without further ado, please welcome my sister, Nicole. Whoa, what are you doing in here so fast? You know I'm a traveler. Well, hello, welcome to Superstar Parking. High Ooh. five. Are you excited to do some math today? I'm so pumped. This is my awesome sister, Nicole. She is a travel nurse, so she actually made a visit just to come see you guys. All right, Miss Nicole, today we are going to be playing a game. Well, you are going to be playing a game, and you might be able to win a grand prize. All right, Miss Nicole, here are the rules to my game. I'm going to give you a balloon, and I'm going to hide what's on the other side. There is going to be a number and you are going to have to round the number. Now, if you round the number correctly, you will actually get to pop the balloon and see if you get the grand prize. But there's a catch. If you do not get the question correct, you do not get to pop the balloon. And if you don't get the grand prize, that means I get it. Woohoo! Nope, I think Team Nicole's gonna win. Woo woo! Drop a comment below and say, are you on Miss Seaver's team or Miss Nicole's team? All right, Miss Nicole, are you ready for my first balloon? Yes, let's do it. All right, my first number is 73, and we are rounding the tens place because that's what's underlined. So, 73 rounds to what? 70. Hmm. Let me check your answer. When I'm looking, I could see when I go to the right, three is four or less. So we let it rest and it becomes a zero. High five, Miss Nicole, you got Ooh. it correct. Yay. All right, Miss Nicole, I know that you're a nurse, so that means that you're pretty careful with things, but I have these jumbo size scissors that you are going to wow. be using to pop this balloon to see if my grand prize is inside. Are you ready? On your mark, in three, two, go. Oh, no. Uh, no oh. prize. Woohoo. Oh my no gosh. prize. Oh, that's horrible. Do you think that you can do another rounding balloon problem and maybe win the green prize? The real question is do you think you can do another balloon? We are ready, right, team? Yeah. Well, my hands are still working. Miss Nicole's brain is still working, so let's check out my next rounding balloon. All right, my next number that Nicole is rounding is. 22 and as you can see we are once again rounding my tens place so i believe that this one we're gonna round to 20. so when we're looking at my number we can see that two is four or less so we let it rest right. it becomes a zero so miss nicole once again you are correct all right miss nicole now this time you could be winning the grand prize so very careful what do you think the grand prize Ooh. is all right on your mark get set go Oh! Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, Miss Nicole, I have two balloons left. Which one are you going to choose? Ooh. Ooh. I think I might have to go with the pink one. All right. Let's see if the pink one is the winner. So, Miss Nicole, I need you to round this number. My number is 380, and this time we are rounding my hundreds place. Well, Miss Sieber, that this is another big number. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to say this rounds to 400. <gasps> Good job, Miss Nicole. Wow, you're really getting the hang of it. You're correct. Woo! All right, Miss Nicole, on the count of three. One, two, three. Whoa! Woo! Oh my goodness, she got the surprise. What is my grand prize, Miss Nicole? $20. Woo! $20. Dollars. Can you take me out to lunch with that money? Yeah. Where do you want to go? Mmm. I want to get pizza and chicken fingers and french fries and ice cream. Yes. Mm. Sounds like a perfect day on me. All right, superstars. I don't know about you, but my stomach is hungry. Thinking about all this ice cream and chicken fingers and french fries, my brain is officially done with math. But Miss Nicole, thank you so much for coming today. You did an amazing job. Did you have fun? I had a blast. Thank you so much for having me, superstars. You are so very welcome. All right, guys, thanks for learning with me today. Kiss your brain. Miss Nicole, kiss your brain. And I will see you next time. Bye.